All right, let's get that AC installed. All right, for the indoor unit, I want to put it up in the front, where right where I'll be sleeping, and that way it'll blow right on me. So I'm gonna get some measurements because the bottom of the air conditioner indoor unit is gonna hang down a little lower. So I'm gonna cut a piece of starboard to uh, make it right. All right, so the dash panel in there is 11 inches, and when I put my air conditioner on the starboard here I can get a little bit extra because you can see it comes down to I probably need 14 inches will probably be good and so what I'll, I'll do is I'll let the starboard hang over the dash panel just a little bit so I can mount it securely so let me get this cut and we'll keep on going All right, now we're on the inside, and I'm gonna put my starboard up on my back wall here on my dash. And this part of the dash is really thick here, so it'll support the, the air conditioner without a problem. Especially once I put this starboard on it, it'll make it even more secure. And just one thing, guys, it's probably 100 degrees in here, and it's a lot more work filming. So if you can hit the subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. There's some things I've been trying to do that I can't do. I was gonna post a picture and some gifts and on my channel and I can't because I don't have a thousand subscribers. So if you would subscribe, take just a second, hit that button, I would appreciate it. Thanks. Now the trick's not gonna be not to drill into anything, any wires or anything. So I'm gonna spend a lot of time trying to cover up wires and get things out of the way so I make sure I don't drill into it. All right, you can see where I recessed a bunch of screws and I put them where my wires and things like that were, weren't. So I had to, you know, move it around and figure out where it is. I actually drilled from the inside out. So whenever I was drilling, I made sure I went the right from this side and I drill out into my board and it doesn't hang down very much just a just a few inches here and next I'm out my air conditioner all right I got the AC mounted right behind the dash panel here and what I did is I used the starboard here to kind of curve the edges now I got to run the wires if I had to do it all over again I'd probably make my starboard a little bit bigger and I, I was trying to make it smaller so it didn't hang down too far but i'd probably make it a little bit bigger and go ahead and uh put four bolts like one two maybe on their side like three four and then attach the air conditioner to the starboard first and then bolt the whole panel onto the dash right there with the four with the four bolts with washers and all that so that's that's what i would do if i had to redo it again so if you guys copy me or something I would go that route. This this route was a little bit harder to get the screws inside, you know, up top where it's kind of tight and stuff. But I got it. If it ever comes back down, I'll just redo it. All right, now I got to make my hole a little bit bigger where I did have my chart plotter things coming down. It's not going to be big enough for the air conditioner. I decided to go ahead and run it right here because it's easier to run it here and then to run it over here and come up uh, over there on that side of the dash because there's already a lot of wires over there. So I'm gonna run my wires through here. And eventually what I'll do is I'll get me some kind of gray cloth or something to hide the wires. Uh, I'm gonna figure out some way to make it look nice. I uh, probably, I was thinking about maybe mounting an iPad or something up here anyway, doing a little iPad mount. So that'll help cover it up some too. And then I'm gonna run it up in the ceiling and then I'll drill me a hole up here to pop it through. <clears throat> I, was, uh, I was thinking about mounting it out here uh, I looked real hard at this place right here because this would have been the easiest place to mount it. 
The only thing I was worried about was getting the weight. I didn't want the boat to list over any, but I did do a water test and I think it would have worked, but I was going to mount it right here and come down and put it right here. <clears throat> and then the only thing I have to do is uh, run all my hoses and everything through the side over here and pop out right over there. So it would have been super easy because there's my batteries right here too. So I could have just ran it right through there. The only thing I was worried about, number one, was that you know it's gonna get splash on it from spraying the deck down and uh two is just the sheer weight of it so i was i was thinking about doing some kind of metal bar i mean it's 50 pounds it's not super huge but i was gonna put you know some kind of metal bar and stuff in here and put me some big washers right here and do one and then do them down there too and so that is an option if you want to mount it out here i was just a little bit worried about you know salt water getting on it i am gonna get a waterproof cover for it and all that but this would be a place that you might want to look at but i went ahead and decided to do it on top it's a lot more work but it'll be better in the long run to get it out of the way a little less room for my solar panels unfortunately but i think it'll be better up there all right you can see i got me a hole drilled and i did a two inch hole and you you normally want to use your 90 degree angles up here but if i would have done that i would have had to make a loop and come down and i was trying to keep the wire as small as possible up here on the roof so what i did is i bought me some two inch vinyl pipe right here and i cut me a little piece and put it around in here and that way it'll keep it from hitting the rubber hose as it's coming down it won't it'll keep it uh, from getting a hole in it and then on the pipe threading i'm gonna use a little bit of this true blue pipe thread sealant just to keep any freon from leaking and just give it a little extra sealant and this is good for vibration so because you know everything's going to be moving up here and then what i'll do is i'll seal this hole with some closed foam sealant and then on the very top of it i'm going to use some flexible caulk that they use like on rvs and that way if it gets a little vibration here it'll still keep it from leaking it won't it won't stop adhering to the wall so i put a little foam in the bottom to seal it up real good once i get all my wires and power hooked up here and the little extra cord here and uh, then seal it up seal it up real good all right and now i got my pump hook hooked up to my low side here and it's running to my manifold gauges and if you look right here i got my pump hooked up going to my yellow so i'm gonna open this all the way for my low side and I'm gonna go ahead and run the pump for 15 minutes and you want to take this little top off right here and you want to get it down to negative 30 it's already there but I'm gonna go ahead and let my pump run for 15 more minutes and then I'm gonna close my valve and make sure I don't have any leaks and run it for 15 more minutes all right and while my pump is running for 15 minutes I'm going to go ahead and run my wire around to my battery and you can see I got these pipes done. I just got to pull this little piece of rubber down and cover them up and then I'll cable tie everything and dress up the wires when I completely finish. But I'm going to go ahead and run the wire over to the battery compartment so it goes through there, goes through the hole behind the refrigerator over to my batteries. A buddy of mine asked me why am I not taking my boat out and doing these projects at the same time well you can see right here i'm taking it out as much as i can but whenever you do one project look at this look at the mess i get and i can't do all this in one day either i'm having to work after work and things like that so i got the refrigerator out you know i'm running wires back behind here it all takes a long time to dress all this stuff and to get it all right all right so my pump's been running for 15 minutes so it's still at negative 30 so I'm gonna go ahead and close my valve and turn the pump off and now what you want to do is you want to watch your little valve here for about 15 more minutes and make sure it stays at negative 30 if it's not at negative 30 then you're gonna have a leak somewhere in your in your fittings and you'll have to redo your connections hopefully i don't have to do that so we'll look back at 15 minutes all right it's been 15 minutes let's see 
Negative 30, baby. Come on, that's what I'm talking about. No leaks. Let's do this. I'm gonna release the Freon. All right, I'm just gonna hook it up temporarily to the battery here, to my 200 amp. And let's just see if this thing even works. It is so hot, guys. You don't understand how hot it is. So I really hope this works. So then I can dress up my wires and everything with the AC. Please work. All right, so I got it mounted. Let's cut the power on. Oh yes, it lit up, it lit up. It's so quiet. It's working guys, it's working. Cold air coming out baby. That's what I'm talking about, it's so hot. This is so awesome. This is so amazing. It feels so good. It's blowing right off here. And when I go to sleep, up here in the front, I even have the little curtain I can shut. It's gonna feel so good. Look at that. Oh yeah. That is amazing. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Next one, I'm gonna show you what it does. Thanks for watching.